let me show you guys the magic that's happening in the zinnia bed. So when I planted zinnias, I planted these purple zinnias, right? Um, I don't, I don't, I, purple zinnias, I don't remember what they were called, purple passion or something like that. I also planted these wonderful polar bear zinnias and I have these in my beds in a few different places and I just love these. I think they're so beautiful. And I also planted some orange. The first couple times this orange, I think it was called an El Dorado zinnia bloomed. It was orange, true to color. They were a little smaller than I was hoping for, but I was like, eh, maybe, you know, they're, they're still beautiful, orange. But after the first couple blooms, they started, I guess, cross-pollinating with these wonderful purple zinnias to make the most beautiful. Check this out. It's an orange zinnia, but it has like a pinky purple around the edges. Isn't that lovely, y'all? And all of my orange zinnias are now orange and pink. And I am super excited to save the seeds from these and see if I can grow them again next year because I think they are just like one of the most fabulous things in my garden right now. I hope. I hope you like them. I think they're just awesome. Gardening is so wonderful, guys. Anyways, let me back up so you can see. This bed is, I mean, it's doing good. The, the zinnias look lovely. The chamomile's gone to seed, most of it. And the strawberries are still producing back here in this pot. This pot of strawberries over here on this side. Oh, I saw this when I came in. Oh, it's still got a little dirt on it. Look at that strawberry. That is a, that's a beautiful strawberry, guys. I'm gonna have to wash it off. It's got a little too much dirt on it for me, but I'll take it inside. <clears throat> Let me show you my harvest from today. Um, this is what happens when you're in too much pain to go to your garden for three days as you get heaping piles of produce. Um, this is just a bucket of peppers, y'all. And yeah, I know they're pots, but I always come out here, I bring the little basket and then I forget anything else. And so I come out here and, I, and then I just grab a couple pots to collect everything else in. And yes, I absolutely know that I should not have the tomatoes stacked like this. But when I get inside, I have a, a big flat box that they go in until they get processed. So no worries, guys. What's at this strawberry right here? Oh, I don't want it to fall off. That's it for today. Just wanted to show you the garden. It's quite lovely. Might be the last time you see it. I mean, look, look at this lovely mullen, y'all. It, it just pains me when people are like, oh, what's this most horrible weed? Because, I mean, look at it. It was raining earlier, guys. I know. I wanted to pick tomatoes before it rained, but I had no idea it was going to rain because... I live in the mountains and sometimes it just happens. But anyways, look at that. Lovely garden. I hate that one day I'm going to come out here and it is not going to look like this. And it is going to look dead. <laughs> you can already tell that the cold weather is stressing the plants out a bit. But... Winter has to come. Oh man, I forgot to pick beans. Oh hell. Let me go get a dang bucket. You know, I want the kids out here to do this. Anyways guys, that's all for us today. I hope I showed you everything that you wanted to see in the garden. It is looking quite a bit different because the weather has been getting pretty cold. Like I said, it's been in the low 40s, high 30s every night for three or four weeks now um, our average loss 
last frost date is actually September the 10th through the 20th, so I'm lucky to have gotten this far. Hi, Luke. Hi. Oh, no, no! Get out of the garden, dogs. Watch out. Anyways, looks like the, my help looks like my help came to help me carry this stuff up to the house. I'll see you guys later. Bye.